Hey everyone, welcome back to Teenopolis. So today we start construction on the island because honestly I don't have any valid reason why we went from gardens to island but I just went for it and most of the time it works out well. So let's get started shall we? Anyway we start off with a beach or actually later it turns into a small harbor because I have to admit lately I've been building a lot of beaches probably because it's dark and gloomy outside where I'm right now and I just want some beaches yeah i have no reason but i just wanted some beaches and also some way to break up the square form of the island even though it stays a little bit of a square a little bit actually it stays a square but it's just like some pointy edges and this beach slowly also turned into a harbor from which maybe some supplies that aren't really easily transported by cart are brought to the pharaohs even though the <laughs> the cliffs are really not helpful with this. I wanted to keep them so I later built some crane to you know get them up there but yeah I think most of them would be done by hand would be well brought up by hand and uh, yeah that's not a job I would ever want. So I really don't know actually if cranes are historically accurate but then again there's almost no other way instead of like you know doing what the ancient Egyptians maybe did when they built the pyramids which is built a large slope but that I didn't think would make sense when you think like oh the pharaohs is probably in like the sea it's you know it has rough days rough seas and so I would think that if you build like a ramp up it would need constant maintenance and in the way that this harbor place is a bit constructed there is like rocks on one side and then it's well sandy beach on the other side so that the rocks actually like are kind of like wave breakers in that way and so behind the rocks slowly like sand piles down and slowly you get the beach and maybe like in a thousand years this beach would be much larger but for the plants because I went a little bit too long on this small part of the island but for the plants I wanted a clear distinction between inside of the fells and outside because the inside is going to be a well-maintained garden or actually it's a bit of a more organical grown garden because there's not like you know a very laid out system of where the plants are well, there is in some way, but also there isn't. But the outside, I really just wanted almost no flowers because, as I said, the outside is going to have some more rough seas, you know, some waves will maybe get on the cliffs. So there is like a little bit of like maybe a slight tint of salt on the outside of the ferals. And salt and plants normally don't go together, so... You want a little bit of like stronger plants on the outside if you think well semi-realistically so i just thought like oh uh, yeah yeah bushes maybe some palm trees or bigger trees and i kind of go off on you know realism because on the lower sides i do have some well the lower sides of the cliff so near the water's edge i have some palms but that's just because i really like that visual so in some places I really just throw realism out of the door and in some places I'm just like this could be real. <laughs> Let's face it, Dinopolis is not realistic in any way because this is a pharos. This was one building in ancient world. It was, if I'm right it was one of the ancient wonders of the well it was one of the wonders of the ancient world. I keep calling it like one of the ancient wonders of the ancient world. That's kind of doubling it. But yeah, Tinopolis, not realistic in any way, but some places are realistic. But anyway, for, well, the island, I was always, well, not always. <laughs> Let's not lie, I wasn't always thinking of a name for the island. But I was, like, later on thinking about a name for the island. But then I also thought... You have an official name for, well, most things. I mean, <laughs> we like to give official names, but then 
if you have something let's say really big really grand or just well it actually doesn't even need to be grand but you have official names and then you have more like names for public use or i don't really know how to explain this this is one of the reasons why i should never be a teacher or anything because i have no clue how to explain things but there's like you have the official name and then you have the more you know what people call it by on a regular day like how could i really explain this but like an official name for the island would probably be like the island of dot 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 nymph thing but then maybe in like in the public mind it would be just the island of the ferals because that's probably easier to say than whatever name i'm going to think of yeah the name is going to be probably a little bit departing from the rest of Teenopolis because I don't want you know most of the names in Teenopolis have some kind of like real reference to ancient mythology and here I'm literally just thinking all right what name sounds slightly like a nymph's name and slightly Grecian and then just go from there like I'm really just trying to invent an own name that's yeah, completely unrelated to established Grecian mythology for this island. Yeah. I'm really thinking of something that slowly, like, well, not slowly, but somehow ties into the word Teonopolis, but then I also think that's a little bit. Yeah, it's just too easy. It's really too easy to just do something like Dionopolis. Yeah, that's the worst name I ever thought of. But I am going to think of a name. And there's going to be no reference to that name in the park. It's just something I like to think about and just have for myself. I wanted to say for my own, but that's... Well, you're not here for my grammar, so... Anyway, for the island, as you can probably already see, I have done a lot of work on the rest of the Anopolis, or just the rest of the ferals and you know how you get there and i finally figured out also how to work the train into the island yeah trying to fit a steam train in with ancient grecian buildings actually a lot easier than you would think all right this was a bit weird i heard some banging and nobody was banging so i'm not saying that this video is haunted but if anything happens, that might be the reason. But what was I talking about? Oh yeah, trains in ancient Grecian buildings probably. Like it's not hard to, you know, build a train going through a park. And it's not really that difficult to, you know, team the area surrounding the train to, you know, fit in with the train because yeah, you might think like, oh, you know, the train has to adapt to whatever its surroundings is which is sort of true but you also need to you know think about maybe uh, the foundation on where the train sits the train needs to you know have a little bit of its own identity i would say though still it does need to like fit in with the surrounding area but not in a way that it's swallows the train if that makes any sense i really don't know but i just wanted to have this train be somewhat sensible or somewhat well i wanted to say realistic again but nope <laughs> that's not going to be it like not by a long shot but i did think of like the train in comparison to like the island or in relation to the island I wanted to make it somewhat fit, like make it fit with the cliffs surrounding the ferals. And then I thought, hmm, how can I make this a little bit more interesting than just having a train going next to the ferals? I mean, that's in my eyes, I want the train ride to be as entertaining as just the rest of Theonopolis. I don't want there to be just like, uh, all right, train rides. All right, five more minutes. All right. I want you to also have, you know, nice views when you are on the train. And 
in a way, you know, the rest of the parks help with that. Like, you can look at the ferals, but from this train and, well, basically where it sits, you can mostly see, you know, the top of the ferals and the walls surrounding the courtyard or the garden. I still really need to make my mind up on how to call the inside. Probably the garden, but also the courtyard works. Yeah, I'm going to use those interchangeably. But because of, well, almost no visibility of the ferals, I mean, you can see a wall and I have to say that the walls of the courtyard, yeah, I'm really going to use all those names interchangeably. But the walls of the courtyard aren't that interesting. Yeah, there are pillars, yes, there's mm, some windows, but beyond that, the walls are actually pretty boring. Like it fits with the ferals, but for the train ride I was just like, alright, there needs to be some more action in this. So I thought, in the middle of the cliffs, like, as I said, there would be a rough sea, so there would be a lot of water splashing against the rocks. And water and earth creates mud. And so I thought, let's have an area or just a small pit where like rain drains away from the island. And slowly it just took away a small, well, I wouldn't say like a small area, but just a small part of the island was just washed away in a little bit of like a mud wave. And I just thought... Hmm, nice. And also then I wanted to build some kind of, like, how do I call it? Just some, like, attempts at stabilizing the rocks. But then, of course, the waves, so I just made it slightly ruined. So, like, there was an attempt made, but that attempt failed miserably. Or is still ongoing, but they just stopped. <laughs> And also I built like a small makeshift bridge because should I have an explanation for that? I just wanted it to look somewhat presentable. That also brings me immediately to one point that you might have noticed in Tionopolis. Well actually you might have noticed that in everything I built. I hate building bridges. <laughs> That's why most of the bridges in Tionopolis aren't bridges, they're just floating pots. Because I just really don't like building bridges for some reason. Like, let's build a ferals that is like, I think around 35,000 parts right now. Build one bridge? Nah. Just going to put that away for the longest time I can think of. But, yeah, eventually I have to, you know, get to that, but... Yeah, it's probably going to be like the last episode on the Ferals that I'm building a bridge. And maybe even only the front bridge because I have no clue on what the area behind the Ferals is going to be. Because, yeah, the Ferals is like in between the two sides of the harbor, but the other side of the Ferals, the sides that we aren't going to build on this video, is going to probably go into a different area. Maybe like the more rural area. Because... Well, I say maybe in the more rural area, but nothing is set in stone. Like, I can't say that I have plans, I can only say that I have ideas. Because, yeah, the Pharaohs was just built on a whim. Bromios was built on a whim, and Bromios actually still haunts me to this day. Because I might have already said this a thousand times, but that was built in five days, mostly at 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> For some reason I just, you know, I went to sleep, couldn't sleep and just had the ideas of like, let's build a coaster. And I couldn't sleep until I built a coaster. So I think I'm the most creative at 3am when I have no sleep and I'm basically half dead. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a bit weird. But also back to the footage and back to the island, I wanted to build a small temple like a small ruined temple, mainly got the idea from Assassin's Creed Odyssey where in Capolonia, if I say the name correctly, because I have a really bad track record when it comes to names, there is this small, I don't know if you can call it a temple, but there is some small building that's 
mostly underwater. I didn't want to make it completely underwater because then again like I want some action to the train and if it's completely underwater you wouldn't be able to see it. So I just think that you know tying it into like the mudslide area that this temple was probably maybe some time back when it was still in operation on like the mainland it was basically probably the height of where the train sits now but because it was abandoned I think this temple might be like the temple to the nymph that the island is dedicated to after the island was or the temple was abandoned because the pharaohs became more important this well the temple was abandoned wasn't properly taken care of because why waste resources on a temple that's not used I mean even today I would say like oh yeah that church or that official building is used yeah maybe they're just minimal well minimal I mean that minimal I lost the word for it for one second but minimal like maintenance on it finally got the word is still a little bit more than what's probably going on with this temple but you know after time as I said with the mudslide it just you know it slides away so it's now half submerged in the sea well the sea I mean Tinopolis doesn't really have a sea but let's pretend most of Tinopolis is pretend I just thought like this is just such a clear reference to the diminishing importance of that unnamed name that I'm going to make up some name for in comparison to the pharaohs the people stopped worshipping her because there was this big amazing building next to it <laughs> also because of the building you couldn't really reach the temple because yeah there are no doors or anything on this side so you would need a boat or well yeah you would need a boat I'm not going to lie like you're not going to be able to reach the temple by land well if you're a good climber you might you know climb around the rocks but I wouldn't suggest that because I don't think the rocks surrounding the pharaohs are the most stable well maybe where the pharaoh sits because there would probably be like some foundation work there but surrounding that it would probably be just like hey this rock seems secure yeah you're now in the ocean probably bashing your head against the stone you just try to hold on to but anyways guys I will stop to ramble here what do you guys think of the island so far do you like it or do you hate it drop that answer down below in the comments and I hope you liked the video if you do I hope to see you back in the next one have an amazing day everyone and I will see you in the next video bye bye